Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Piathlon. In today's video, we will be discussing Fadcoin. For those of you who may be unfamiliar with Fadcoin, it is a cryptocurrency that the US Federal Reserve may issue at some point in the future. Fadcoin will be notably different from other cryptocurrencies in the sense that cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin are designed to be decentralized and not managed by any government. Fadcoin will essentially be the opposite. It will be centrally managed by the United States Federal Reserve. In today's video, we're going to answer some of your Fadcoin questions, starting with, will Fadcoin replace paper dollars? The answer to this is not actually 100% clear yet, as a lot of important Fadcoin details have not been decided yet, yet alone revealed. However, the government is at least partially interested in the federal cryptocurrency to gain insight into transactions, so it makes sense that they would want Fadcoin to replace cash, which is nearly untraceable. The next question we will answer is why is interest in Fadcoin currently growing now? One reason is the technology behind cryptocurrency, aka the blockchain, has been developing a track record of success not only in theory, but also in practice. There are other reasons likely fueling the government's recent interest. One of them being that cryptocurrencies are being used by some people as a vehicle to facilitate illegal transactions, but we'll talk more about this point later in the video. Another reason the government is so interested in the federal cryptocurrency is because of fear that the US dollar could one day be met with negative interest rates. We're not going to cover the economics of negative interest rates in this video, but essentially this could mean that people withdraw their money from banks at a large scale, which is something the government wants to avoid. With Fadcoin, the government will be able to program inflation and or deflationary measures into the currency itself to have stronger control of exchange rates and interest rates. We alluded to this earlier, but there are other legal reasons why the government wants to lure people away from Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin is largely used for legal purposes and legal transactions and other purposes such as investing and using it as a store of value and wealth. But not everyone who uses Bitcoin uses it for legal reasons. Some criminals use it to facilitate the sale of illegal goods and others can use it to launder money or evade taxes. There are also people who do not report their crypto profits, which is not legal. Those are all reasons why the government could be interested in pursuing a federal cryptocurrency. Next, we'll talk about whether or not Fadcoin will actually ever be implemented. Fadcoin actually has bipartisan support. Jerome Powell, the chairman of the Federal Reserve under President Trump, said that the Federal Reserve is doing research into a digital cryptocurrency. And Janet Yellen, the chairman of the Federal Reserve under President Obama, once said, and I quote, It makes sense for central banks to be looking at issuing sovereign digital currencies. End quote. Given that support from Fadcoin has come from both sides of the aisle, it seems possible that this project may actually be implemented one day, but this project will likely take several years at least before it gets to Congress and will take another several years to develop beyond that, so I think it's unlikely we'll see a fair coin in the next several years. Now we're going to discuss several things the government will have the ability to do if fair coin were to be implemented. The first is the government will have insights into every transaction that happens using fair coin because of the blockchain. If the government decides to transition all physical and digital dollars into onto Fadcoin, then this will essentially give the government the ability to see every transaction that goes on within the economy. I'm not going to speculate on what that means for society as a whole, or for you personally. That may or may not be the subject of a future video, but for now, I'll leave you with that fact. Another thing the government will be able to do is automate your taxes. Every time you make a transaction or receive payment, the government will be able to apply a sales or income tax automatically and instantly. Once again, you can decide for yourself if you think that's a good or bad thing, but that's something you should at least note when you're thinking about Fadcoin. Another thing I want to touch on with Fadcoin is what will happen to other cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin if Fadcoin were to become a thing. That is hard to answer and I think it depends on what policy measures are introduced alongside Fadcoin. If the government bans other cryptocurrencies, then we will see a large price drop in those cryptos as many people will no longer want to use or buy them. There will always be some people who will buy, use, and sell Bitcoin, but if it becomes illegal due to laws or policies, I think it's safe to say there will be a smaller and smaller percent of the population that's interested in doing so. Bitcoin is a relatively new idea and one that has been gaining steam in recent years. We will keep covering updates and posting several videos on this, 
So be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you can keep seeing our posts and stay up to date. But what do you all think? Will Fatcoin actually ever be implemented? Will it replace physical dollars? Will it replace Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies? Let's start, start a discussion. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and I'll try to respond to as many as possible. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. You should especially consider subscribing since we are a new channel and need your support to continually put out these videos. Also, please follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Piathlon. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.